everyone, it's me, Kari, and as you can see, I have my Ruffles dress on, and that can only mean one thing. Today, we are going to travel to Barcelona. In my last video, I talked about Austria, Budapest, and Prague, but today, I'm only going to be talking about Barcelona. While doing my research for this video, I found out that Barcelona was meant to be the home of the Eiffel Tower. Isn't that crazy? This, this, is what the Eiffel Tower would have looked like if it was in Barcelona. I mean, because figure it would have been in La Rambla Street, alright? On that note, let's talk about Las Ramblas. Las Ramblas start in Plaza de Cataluña down to the Columbus Monument at the waterfront. While walking down Las Ramblas, you can see street performers go to flower stands, magazine stands. You can also go to Tablao Cordobes and in there you can eat dinner and then you can go to a flamenco show. Of course, I'm going to recommend to you guys to go see a flamenco show. If it's in Barcelona, then great. If it's in Sevilla, then amazing. There's many, many tablaos, which you can see flamenco all around Spain, but I went to Tablao Cordoba. <laughs> Sagrada Familia, which is the most famous landmark of Barcelona. La Sagrada Familia is one of Antoni Gaudi's most famous creations. The construction for the Sagrada Familia began in 1882 and it is expected to be finished in 2026 on the 100 year anniversary of Gaudi's death. Another thing you must see and do is go to La Boqueria. In La Boqueria, you can eat vegetables, fruits, meats, cheese, fish, and many, many other things. Currently, La Boqueria has more than 300 stands where you can find everything meat, vegetables, fish, nuts, sweets, fruit, specialties, etc. In 2005, La Boqueria was considered the best market of the world. If you're a soccer fan or a football fan, then you might want to visit the Camp Nou. The Camp Nou is the soccer stadium for the FC Barcelona. It can hold 99,354 people, making it the largest stadium in Europe and second largest soccer stadium in the world. Another place you must visit is Parkwell. Parkwell is one of the most famous public parks in the world and this park was designed by the famous architect Antonio Gaudi. The park was built from 1900 to 1914 and was officially opened as a public park in 1926. Another place you must see, especially from the front, is Montjuic. The Montjuic is a hill and it features a large number of attractions such as the Spanish village, the Magic Fountain, and one of the city's most important museums. The Palau Nacional is the home of the Museum National de Art de Catalunya, which is the MNAC, and its collection includes Roman, Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque art, as well as 19th and 20th century works of art. The pilot has just announced that this is the end of the video. It was really fun to explore Barcelona with you and I hope to see you again on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!